and that was one of the most fun things to do. take a camera and throw it off a roof and let it spin around before his head goes into the dumpster. And I think the head made it to various places on the set. You know, at, at random times, you'd open something, and there it would be VC's head. <laughs> this is pretty much the, um, the result of all my troubles. <laughs> Jason takes Manhattan. This is it right here, and um, here we are. <laughs> I'm bringing you please. My demise. That was a repellent moment. It was this huge, disgusting barrel of oil or refuse or vomitous material, liquid material, with some rats in it. I just jammed his head in head first into this thick methicil slime shit. And that couldn't have been easy being upside down in that stuff. It's not like being in water. You come out of it and it's still on your face. You still can't breathe for a while, so. Absolutely revolting. And I give him four medals for that. I think part eight was probably easier. I might have felt a little more like part of the gang by then, you know. I think I think I'd like I said done probably maybe thirty episodes by then of the T V series. So I had a great rapport with Frank, uh Barbara Sachs and people like that. So I, I think that was a, by by no means easy. It was an enormous amount of work in a very short amount of time. But I remember feeling very uh, uh, enthused and I think I remember I had to break an electric guitar so I think we smashed a guitar for actually like really like like the who would do uh, in the studio uh, under controlled circumstances but we had to do that I had to get like a $90 you know uh, horrible electric guitar and just smash it to get that sound it was the first time we'd had a song it was a very 80s sort of uh, uh, rock song and I had written some lyrics about you know just basically people on the street and you know, sort of dark imagery, and we call the song The Darkest Side of the Night. The most amazing thing that ever happened to me playing Jason, out of any of the four movies I did, happened to be in Jason Takes Manhattan, and it was when we were shooting in Times Square, being on the traffic island in full costume, with all the neon, with literally hundreds of people on either side watching behind barricades, I heard people yelling and everything, and I just stood there and stared straight ahead and then just did the old turn, and people just went crazy. It was unbelievable. I've talked to fans a lot about why Part 8 wasn't as well received, and I think just a lot of people in their mind pictured the whole movie being in New York, so they went into it expecting one thing and not getting it, it's sort of misleading, you know, because it says, you know, Jason takes Manhattan, but about 15 minutes of it takes place in Manhattan, and the rest is on some half-assed boat, you know, in outside of Vancouver in really bad weather, and it looks about as luxurious as, like, Popeye's, you know, a uh, uh, little skiff or something, you know, so. I think it would have been great if, if we had had a few more scenes shot there. It would have been so cool if we could have gone through the Met and gone past the dinosaur exhibit or something like that. Can you imagine a shot of Jason running past a brontosaurus in the Met? It's genius. I don't know why they didn't do it. The other thing that we did that is very it's controversial with fans and non-fans is, is the ending of the movie. And I hear about this all the time. I had asked them, the brain trust of all the Friday movies, can I kill Jason in this movie? Can I make this be the very last Friday the 13th movie? And they said, sure, do whatever you want, because they're going to bring it back if they want to anyway. Because if you see him as an adult, dead, floating at the bottom of anything, it's like, okay, well, we've seen that. We know he's going to come back in the next movie. So what can we do that's different? And, and the idea said, well, what if he, when he really, really dies, he reverts back to that young boy he was when he originally drowned back in Sean Cunningham's movie in the first one. Um, so there was a scene that, that ended up being deleted uh, that involved me popping out of a skull of Jason. They dumped thousands of gallons of water out from the head down through the mouth, and I had to pop up a little hole where the throat would be and somehow crawl out of the water, out of the teeth, out of the mouth. And, uh, it was troubling to cut something like this because I'm watching my son look like he's drowning through the whole thing. And uh, ultimately, it just never worked. 
So that's why at the end of the movie, he gets hit with toxic waste. He goes down. He's bubbling. You're waiting to see who knows what when the, when the toxic waste is going. Is it going to be a skeleton? Is it going to be Big Jason with just all rotted away? What's it going to be? And, and again, let's do a twist here. Let's do a surprise. And so it's kind of like somebody who's in purgatory. When they finally die, they finally get to go off to the hereafter. And that's, that's what we wanted to do with him. I do want to clear up one thing that's always been said about me hating the end of part eight. I never hated the end of it. Uh, I just thought maybe we could have done something better. But as far as hating it, I never hated it. There are only a few, there are only a, hand, a handful of those franchises that are, are in modern day terms. And Jason is, you know, arguably right up there. People are really attached to these movies. It's, it's, I mean, it's amazing, and it's, and, it's, and it's so cool to be part of that. It's cool to be part of something that has such a dedicated following. They, the attention to detail that the fans have, it's really to be admired, man. They just, they just dig it. The nuances of every single thing, they are, like, totally up on it. I mean, no, I don't think there's anyone who doesn't go camping or go stay in a cabin by a lake you know, where the thought doesn't cross their mind at least once. Man, what, what if, what if there's some, some crazy psycho killer out here? To be a part of that, nobody will ever be able to take that away from me, and I'm just, I can't believe that I got to do it. Thrilled that I got to be involved in it.